Hey there, it's Jen and welcome to another Zazzle Tech Training with Jennifer and Elka Clark. Um, I'm Jen, obviously, and today we're going to be talking about the new feature that is given to you when you're on one of your own products in terms of showing you the stats for the product. And this is really helpful because usually what you had to do is actually go into the back end of your store in the back end where you see your products, not in their store home front, which customer sees, but in the back end where you manage your categories in your products and then you had to search for the stats by based on clicking on certain specifics in the back end but here now when you click on one of your products it's actually shown to you uh, right here on the product page so for all purposes this is my store antique chandelier please do not copy everything that is in this store is underneath my copyright i am giving you insight into my stats and my store for the purposes of teaching you not so that you can copy um, unfortunately if you do copy anything uh legal action must be taken because those are my copyright designs okay so just needed to say that out loud because we've had have a lot of problems with people copying and everybody is able to provide their own unique designs on zazzle and show up as a designer themselves you don't need to copy to make money because it's against the law okay so right now um, previously this is, was not shown on your product page and when you go on to somebody else's product or in some on somebody else's store you're not going to see these stats obviously for their products because this is in the back end in your view um, because you're logged into your account so your stats will obviously be different than mine in terms of the numbers but the specific stats that are given to you are all the same so you get to see when you created the product when you last modified the product when the last orders were in the last seven days or the orders were in the last 30 days the orders in all time, the quantity sold, last sold, last viewed, views, and likes, okay? So this product was obviously made in 2014. So unfortunately, in the last 30 days, I have not sold it. However, the last time I sold it was in 2017. So four years later, um, the reason why I'm showing you this stats is because it's actually got a lot of really interesting stats. It's got high numbers, so I just randomly chose this product, okay? So I wanted to show you what it looked like in the back end. So it's really interesting because then you can see how many um, orders and quantities sold, and so you can get some really great analytics from there to see in terms of how many um, on average products are being bought in the groupings when someone makes a like purchase okay and then also you can uh, look at the stats in terms of when it was last viewed and when it was last sold so it did get viewed about um it's june 21st right now 2021 so it was viewed in the last 10 days but it didn't actually get bought okay so the last time it was sold was in 2017 so because it's an older product and maybe you know a rounded design or something um, maybe it's actually not so popular anymore because as I said I did make it in 2014 and unfortunately back then the text bounding boxes weren't proper and everything so maybe now based on this statistic that I've seen that people are viewing it and there is interest in it but it's just not selling there might be something actually wrong with the design because it's quite old and I need to edit something whether that be a template or a text bounding box Okay, so this stats, um, these stats give you a lot of insight into what's going on with your product just at one glance. You don't have to go into the back end and filter through all of these statistics that are given to you right away, which is really great. And then here you can obviously say manage my design. So you can click down here. So edit the design means that it'll open up in the edit design tool. Then if you say edit details, this means that you're going to be able to um, change the titles and tags and descriptions. You can set your store category from here right away. You can actually transfer this image or this product design to a different product um, you can also make it hidden or delete however we never advise you to delete a product or make it hidden if it's still being viewed so the last thing that I want to do is delete it since obviously there is still some traction that's coming to it and some traffic so I'm going to make now a decision in terms of either changing the product and updating it or posting a new one for sale or maybe what I just need to do is change my titles and tags because obviously I haven't done that in a long time either okay so thank you so much for watching this Zazzle tech training now you know all about the statistics that are shown on your product product page which is really great it gives you a lot of insight and it also saves you a lot of time in terms of going through the filters in the back end now you can just click on each individual product and you'll get all the statistics shown here for you i will see you in the next zazzle tech training comment like this video give us suggestions on what you want to watch and we'll see you next week bye